We are back at it, and today I am forcing myself to take it easy, not explode, and not go on for 16 years. Turns out it's, uh, I've noticed that the longer I go on, the more dumb stuff happens, and that thus the more annoyed I get, so I'll be trying to avoid that today, and yeah. I made this Lapras team myself. Wait, why did I go for Ice Beam? I should be going for uh, Sing. <laughs> Never mind, I shouldn't have gone for that. Um, now I'm going to go to this on whatever comes in after. Oh, okay, so it's just going to be one of those games. So yeah, I'm not going to take it too hard no matter what today, hopefully. You know, the strength to, you know, uh, accept what I can't change and whatnot. So. Cool. Got some cool RBY teams. I built this and I uh, asked for some other stuff from Disaster Area and Troller. So that's what I'll be using today. But I made this Lapras thing myself. I think it's pretty cool. It's... Oh, right, I don't have Sleep Fodder. Goodness, this is not off to a good start. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be fine. Nice. Cool, man. That worked out. That worked out. <sighs> Beautifully. Smart guy. Well, now I'm going to blow it up. Hopefully he's not a secret genius who goes to Gengar. Thank you. I just realized I'm not really talking that much. I'm trying to focus on being all serene, but this game should be over fairly soon, so no, that shouldn't be a problem. And from there, I will continue with looking for more. I'll just go with some Zard, because Zard is fun. Cool. Oh, Dragonite lead. Alright, uh, fun fact about GSC, you never want to use shiny Pokemon, because they mess up your IVs really badly. So, as, yeah, as cool as they look, it sucks, because GSC has some great shinies, but you just can't. Also, this is beginning to get unfortunate, so I'm gonna still hopefully be fine. Just, uh, yeah. And Blizzard on the Dragonite lead is also yuck. So, yeah, I'm just gonna try and muscle through with Tauros, which is thankfully feasible. Hmm. Maybe I should double switch to Lapras. I don't know if he's going to stay in or not, though. Yeah. I'm actually in not a very good position all of a sudden. I'm going to try and sing. Yes. Well, no, definitely not yes. I. That's really bad. He sing Bolt Beam. Oh, no. That's really not good. I mean, that's good because he doesn't have T-Wave, but... Oh, no. What a tease. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Don't. Double tease. No. Stop it. Hit. No. Damn it. Okay. So I might suddenly lose this, and that would be spectacularly dumb. Oh, no. Well, Tauros needs to do that. Thank God. I mean, it's still not over because he could. I don't know, do some ridiculous stuff. Uh, like, para full para and then crit my star me while avoiding the psychic crit, but that doesn't happen, thank God, as Tauros enters Tauros mode. So, yeah, that was potentially disastrous. Should have gone to Chansey initially like I sh uh, wanted to. It's just hard to predict against the low ladder. So, I mean, we're not even necessarily on the low ladder anymore. In any of the gens, so 
but the latter is just always unpredictable in general. D Knight Heracross is actually a pretty good combination in GSC because D Knight paralyzes uh, Zapdos and then Curse Hera can set up on it, but that's probably not what's going on here. As in comes a Lapras. And yeah, okay. So we'll just keep going with this. And I'll try to get a. I don't know, another RBY game? Yep, that's three birds, but we're not there yet. Next up is Kingler. Oh no, I'm facing my daddy. That's not fun. Well, I'm gonna engage in Zamor. He's not, so... I'll take that, and I'll just take all the damage I can get so I can later sweep with Kingler, hopefully. And I get lucky there and blow it up, but I'm kind of autopiloting. Or, I'm definitely autopiloting. With the power of... Well, I'm going to check to see if it has a dynamic punch. No sense taking that for nothing. And Zam doing dumb Zam stuff. And decides to go for the one for one. Cool. So that's like the best case scenario for Zam. It's pretty dumb. Oh wow, I just got Wing Attack Dragonited. Alright. Huh. I know HP Flying technically gets recommended, but still. Do, 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 do. Just want to waste PP. I don't want to get my Chansey paralyzed if I can help it. Because, although I might have to help it. Um, because I, other Snorlax is going to be annoying. But I want this paralyzed more, so that's pretty good actually. And if Chansey eats this para, then he can't switch into my Lax once he is forced to switch out. So that's good. So... That's the goal. Um, I'm just going to body slam as I two a KO. Coolio. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'll reflect first and then I'll thunder wave. So this is a good place for... Yeah, that's a good move to wake up the Zam. But now I'm going to get back, get Lax back in, and now pressure's on because he has to respond to his Lax with my Lax, which might result in both our Laxes going down, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, although I definitely wouldn't prefer it if he's got a last Zapdos. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to Body Slam. All right, go Kingler, whose Crab Hammer does not take any prisoners with uh, this thing. Because it auto crits and it is a special move. So, and it's a Starmie, so that's not good. And he might double to his Lax, so that's not fun. But at least I can go back to mine. And it's also Reflect, so I can at least slow him down. Good move there. He's just trying to wake up that Zam. And unfortunately, he's going to get it. And now he has Sleep Block. So that's unfortunate. And. I don't mind that if I can take out the Zam because that's just one less annoying Pokemon to deal with. Hell, I might even try to blow up the Snorlax, but then chance the Starmie's in the way. And uh, it is, of course, a Zam or a Tauros last. So yeah, Kingler's really good when they have rocks and not so good when they have other Pokemon like. Uh, Starmie and Zapdos. So I'm going to have to bounce between windows here. As I recover from internet woes. So, alright, that's pretty good. I get to slam him again as he wakes up. And 
Now he has to rest, and I'm going to go to Tauros. Perfect. As here, oh, shit, Roar. Yeah, definitely Roar. And keep roaring to see what he has. So, Slam. If I para, he's dead meat. No, not quite, but I'm going to stay in and go for that para. Because that would be really good for Kingler. And please, 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 please. Yes. I'll take it. You know, Paralyzed Tauros isn't good, but Starmie going down is really good. So, if he's going to send in Chansey here, then I'll just... Okay, I won't. But that's fine. I will go to Snorlax and wake it up. Or, uh, rest it and wake it up. Oh, i got to really watch my timer here. Uh, yeah, I'll just start attacking. Yeah, cool. Zam comes in, but he has to recover, so I don't mind uh, staying in to burn the turns. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's not a... That's really not fun. I don't care for that at all. Okay, well, I think I have enough explosions to deal with it, so let me try and win this one first. Oh, no. Depends on his moveset. Oh, alright. Yeah, I'm gonna... Wait, no, that's not the... Wrong Snorlax, I don't want to blow this one up. This isn't fun. At least it's not a... Tauros. Come on, Lax. Alright. That's done, and this I'll just drum with Zard, because I don't think I've actually drummed with Zard successfully yet. Shiny Umbreon is so cool, I wish they would just let us use the shinies as they were. Or not as they were, the opposite of that. Shinies without the drawbacks. Cool. Thank God. Yep, this is wrap for you. You just chains these moves together like nothing. So, uh, let's see. Executor, boom. It's probably not going to be quite enough. Whoops. Yeah, not close to enough. So yeah, it's just waiting for him to run out of wraps, pretty much. Not fun. So I'll try to get another in the meantime. He's not missing any. Let's see. Uh, Gen 3, we'll see if Team Ufast can win. Fourteen down. First miss. Gonna go for the slam para. As he just tries to blizzard this down. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna take... I know he can agility, but I'm gonna swords dance up. Because Kingler is actually now an enormous threat. Let's calc Kingler versus... Dragonite... Hyper Beam at plus two. He can kill, so I'm just going to try and get the damage. 
but maybe I should have just attacked him, I think. Yeah, so it's back to this, and it's back to... Well, now he can Blizzard and Hyper Beam is the problem. Hyper Beam against Kingler will kill, so I'm gonna go back to Exeggutor hoping he beams. No, that's the turn I don't want him to full para. And versus Chansey. Hyper Beam is a roll, but I'm gonna hope he doesn't... Yeah, he's just gonna go for the wrap and do that. <laughs> Back to Eggy on the Hyper Beam, I hope. Well, no, he, he's uh, going to wrap again. So I'm kind of just letting my Chansey go because it's not that useful. And Snorlax is the... Hmm. I want The booms are probably the way to win if I can outmaneuver this. So... Yeah. Chansey on the Blizzard. Eggy on the Hyper Beam. I hope. Alright, explode. Barely out of range, but... Mm. Gonna hope for a nice para here. Kingler is actually a major threat against these two, so if I can blow up... If I can get past this and blow up his lax, then that's... I'd be cool. Ten wraps still. Such PP. That's the problem. Um, thank God. Yeah, fuck that Dragonite. As that goes to bed, Claydol comes in. I'm gonna burn it, and I'm gonna scout out its set. He tries to fuck. Uh, wait, I'm not getting mad today. And he's dodging Will O Wisps like his life depends on it. So that is irritating to say the least. But I'm gonna make him refresh. Make him reveal he has refresh. And then I'm going to try to get the explosion on him. So at least I chipped him for 6%. I'll take that, although I really would have enjoyed to burn burning that Skarmory. And I think he's going to hopefully he engages in this. So I'm going to body slam and self-destruct. And now I'm going to hopefully clean up with Kinglet. Well... Maybe I can't because And now my Swampert is Mystic Water, so Skarmory's getting pounded. Wouldn't even be a question if it was burned, but Oh and uh, doesn't turns out it doesn't matter because he's got Milotic. Now he's got Skarmory. And he's got a Blissey, so he's got a very ugly stall team there. Don't care for facing that. And I've got a mixed Tyranitar that I'm gonna not do anything with yet and I feel like he's definitely just gonna go for go to this guy and stay in because why wouldn't you risk the Pokemon you need and now I'm gonna go to Jolteon on Skarm I'm gonna BP again on Claydol and I don't really have a good way of breaking his team it's pretty much just down to arrow so I gotta HP Grass and Hope... Jesus, that does fucking nothing. Yeah, I got a... This team is very not good against Milotic. Oh, and I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to go to... Kingler. And Hyper Beam. So Chansey is in range. Of Tauros. Worst case. Yeah, I'm not being able to spread any sort of damage anywhere on his team. I'm going to Thunderbolt just in case he decides to stay in, but he's not. So I got to, what, go to Tar? Good lord. Yeah, this team is awful against Milotic. Hmm. And back to Jolt. Oh, he just wishes up. Doesn't... He likes to play risky with his... And I should have HP grassed. I should have HP grassed. I just hope he stays in, thinks he, thinking he can live the Hydro. But no. No, that's not going to be the case. And I'm lagging, I think. 
Am I lagging? Yeah, I am. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, soon I'm not going to have... Yeah, I'm just going to keep... No! God damn it! Okay, now i got to go to my Chansey and... Alright. Feel myself getting upset. And... I'm just going to mash and... If I can bring that Skarm down, then Arrow is actually not bad at all. I mean, it's not good, but... Doing this to the Skarmory means suddenly my Lodic's in trouble. And I'm going to Focus Punch just to slam it. And now it's time for the Metagross Express to come back in. And now I'm really threatening. I mean, no, he's got Zapdos too. But he's definitely not letting this go down. So thank God for that. Just got to keep mashing. And... Shit. Well, it's a defensive Zapdos, so I'm just gonna blow up the Skarmory like a fucking idiot. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go to Arrow and... No, I'm gonna go to Pert and try to just... Be, to deny the clay at all, so he's a fast Zapdos on that team. You know, that's fine. Uh, thank God my chance he doesn't... I forgot about this one. Man, I really wish that Skarmory was burned. That would have been really nice. Oh, he stays in and doesn't get the spin-off, and he dies to the Torrent Pump. I'll take it. Definitely will take it. Now Arrow is actually a, a big threat, even. And I can spam Thunderbolt with Jolteon. So... It's still not good, but by any imagination, by any stretch of the word, but uh, now we're about to enter a very boring stall war between our chances, and then hopefully my Tauros and uh, Kingler alongside Chansey will be enough to handle the Zam. He's definitely within range. He's in range for uh, Arrow to make him uncomfortable, so. I'm going to this. And if he stays in, he's getting... He's not passing the wish to Milo. And he's going back up to full, but... I'm um, HP grassing on the Zapdos. Nice move from him. He doesn't want a T-Bolt because... No, HP Grass, HP Grass, come on. Oh, no, that was a smart move. I was going to say he doesn't want a T-Bolt because of Jolteon, but that's dumb because he doesn't care about Jolteon. See, good move. He's HP Ice. Wonder why. So now it's arrow time. Shit. Fuck, no! Damn it! Fucking shit, why did I... Why? Why, why, why? And I said I wasn't going to get mad, but I just lost a completely winnable game. And I'm going to lose this one, too. So, now he's going to Ice Beam me into Milo range? Okay, he's not going to Ice Beam me into Milo range. So, it's just one arrow away from... Come on, not over yet. Because if I can just leave him in HP Grass range... Oh, that would have been a nice one. Nope. Nope. What? Come on. I mean, I know I need to flinch anyway, but it still stings. So I hope I crit flinch and I don't. So, freeze. No. Wish I burned the Skarm. Oh, God. This is off to a bad, bad start. Not a good start. That would have been a really nice win, too, this one. <sighs> this stuff really is starting to tilt me. Not fun. So we'll go over to Gen 4, I guess. See if I can get one of these games. Alright. 
Nope, nothing doing. I'll see how far I can get with GSC, with the Charizard team. Nothing doing? Alright, we're gonna go to Trollers, double... No, that's the Kingler team. Oh, I just imported the Kingler team twice. Looks like we're going for triple birds then. Could use uh, pick me up. Jinx lead. I'm gonna let Articuno sleep. Now it's back to Chansey. I'm gonna get a sing off, and I'm just gonna attack with everything. Singing Chansey. Oh my God. Yes. No. Don't want that. Now I sing the Jinx, or I don't even sing the Jinx. But, you know, I'll take it. I'm going to have to blow up on that Chansey regardless, so... If not, freeze it. So... Uh, I'm going to see what set it is. Alright, he's... Alright, well... At least I know that. So now, off to Snorlax. Do a bunch of damage. That's good. I don't want to... I want to blow up the Chansey with this. He might counter me, but... No, he's just Reflect, so I'm going to go to Zapdos on this, and now I'm going to Drill Peck that Chansey. No, he's just going to stay in and risk a big T-Bolt. I mean, okay. Oh, he's got Golem. That's fun. Luckily, I've got my Surf Tauros. Er, uh, Snorlax. Hope he stays in, honestly. Really do. Because I can't kill him, right? Yes! That is what this is for. And Chansey is now a threat, but I think he might explode, so I'm going to sacrifice Articuno. No? Alright, I'll just pivot into my Tauros, who he crits Rock Slide. Okay. Well, not caring for this at all. I'm going to have to hope for a miracle with Moltres or Zapdos or anything. And he sacks the Sleeping Jinx because my Chansey's frozen and can't sleep anything else. Tauros, I'm just going to Hyper Beam. Oh, alright. Not caring for this at all. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Moltres Miracle. And... But it's not looking too likely. Well, at least I get that Tauros out of the way nicely. So, now is he going to blow it up? If not, I'm going to sack the Kuno because Jinx is asleep anyway. So, now I'm just going to Fire Blast and hope he goes to Chansey and gets it burned so I can Fire Spin it down. Well, that's one. That's really nice. No burn, but Fire Spin is gonna take effect and Moltres's Hyper Beam does how much to Chansey? Does enough. After one more fire spin. No! No! Fuck! Shit! I know I said I wasn't gonna get mad but I'm getting tired of this. This is really starting to be a drag. And there's uh, the infamous Fire, or ice, super effective on fire. Nope, nothing doing. Alright, fuck this. This is not going anywhere. Ugh, that was a bad sign. The stupid-ass timeout in the game. That was almost definitely one. I don't know. Well, hopefully I can keep going in GSC. And I'll just... Cloy here. He's gonna switch out. And I'm actually totally walled by this, but... He doesn't know that. I'm just going to Ice Beam and freeze something, because that's how it works. You expect it to happen, and then it'll happen. So, uh, who's coming in here? Snorlax, probably, right? So, I'm going to go to my own Lax. No, he just goes to ride on on Zapdos with no fear. I mean, he knows that can go badly for him, right? So, I'm just going to... Earthquake him down if he's so intent on using Rhydon to counter everything. So now he should go to Skarmory because he sees it's an Earthquake Snorlax. But no, he just stays in and roars and I... He counters me. Okay. 
Well, I'll take out the Rhydon. I mean, not the best way to spend a Snorlax, but I... Okay. Also, the guy who just joined, he, uh... That means goddammit in Czech, so... Maybe he's a fan. Well, it can mean a lot of things. It's just a general swear to indicate that you are irritated AF. So I got a nice crit there, so he can't spin without dying. Thank goodness. Sorry, Blaine. Oh, he's Protect Fortress. Great set. One I am fond of. Well, I'm going to try and phase him around with spikes now. This is when Steelix is good. When he can force spikes damage on other Pokemon and make it count. Well, maybe not because the Protect Fortress, but I want to see what else he's got. So hopefully I can drag in that Fortress. I'm going to curse on the Protect just to really make it happen. And now I'm going to roar on the Skarmory switch because no way he just sacks. No, he does. Thank God I switched back to Earthquake. He just decides, hey, I want this gone. All right, this annoying. So I'm going to blow it up. Oh my god, he's Hydro Starmie. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Alright, well maybe he's not Snorlax last, given the general absurdity of his team so far. But no, he is, and that happens, of course, and I think I'm probably going to lose this one. <sighs> not getting mad, not getting... Nope, that's what, three in a row? Well, I can't win anyway because of the Starmie, so... Hopefully he just lets me crit him or something, I don't know. Hopefully this just goes down and he lets me win with that. Well, miss a bunch of Hydros or something, I don't know. I mean, not that it matters, but... Alright, I'm probably going to call this one very, very soon. Now, miss... And I'm facing someone who's definitely a good player's alt. And... Yeah, this has not been a fun time for me so far, but... Hopefully this team turns it around. And yeah, that one's super over. Gliscor, huh? Well, I'm gonna go to Suicune on the taunt and fire off a Surf with rocks and spikes up and see what happens. Roserade. Okay. So that's a bulky Roserade, so I'm going to go to my Dugtrio on the, very greedily, on the Spike. What? No, okay, he's bulky, so he's not Spike, so he's uh, T-Spikes. I'll take it, I'll just get more Spikes with this thing. And I'm actually going to Whirlwind, just because I want to scout his team a little bit. Rack up some damage. Ideally, drag in the... Um, the Roserades to do more damage, but okay, he's gonna risk Tar pursuing him, and that's fine, but I'm just gonna stay in here and drag him in over and over. So, I'm gonna go to this uh, and scare it out, and now back to, no, now I'm gonna go to um, Magnazone on Jirachi, and I'm gonna Magnet Rise as he U-turns, so he cannot check me safely with Gliscor. I'm gonna make him think Hey, he's got HP Ice. Daniel Radcliffe BKC, that's me. So I'm just gonna HP Fire, and I flash fire a Heatran, that's wonderful. That is really good. So I'm gonna go to my Suicune and rest up. So he's, uh, I think it's a Doug Trio last, for sure. It's uh, August's team, and this is a Torment Tran. So luckily, Suicune is awesome against these kinds of teams. And Roserade's on a fast ticking timer, and Latias has tricked its scarf and is vulnerable to getting trapped, so I'm going to burn the second sleep turn here by sleep talking, and I'm going to rest up and then sleep talk. No, now I'm going to go back to zone. Nice, that, was, that works because I force more damage on him, and I'm going to... Magnet Rise, just to be safe, on Gliscor, and now I'm gonna just spam Thunderbolt, just because I don't want 
I thought, actually that wasn't worth it, I just want to damage Gliscor, because Gliscor is really annoying. And, you know, make him force, just waste some PP, I don't know. So now I'm going to just protect on an Earthquake or a Taunt, just to be annoying. And now since I'm resting, then I don't fear this thing at all. Uh, no sense wasting PP, now I wake up later. So, or I wait, wake up after he switches. Alright, that's cool. And I get a free surf off on Latias, who's got lefties, but... Now that works out better for him. I'm just going to go to zone. I want to make sure I time this right. With, uh... Yeah, I don't want to double back to Suicune, because he could just stay in. So I'm going to Thunderbolt. Yep, that's exactly it. That helps. Not quite what I was looking for, but I'm going to go to Latias now. Force in Jirachi or Heatran. And rest up. Don't, don't, no, you can't, don't want to, okay, you know what, fine. Have the crit if that's what it takes. So, Jirachi, Latias both getting worn down. Surf here would be sublime. Not quite. And that's critting, so thank god I didn't stay in. So now I'm just gonna phase around. Roserade now goes down. So that was... And now I'm gonna trap this thing, finally. So I get out in front of the Doug Trio. This has gone down. The, um, Roserade dies in one fell swoop. Still have Ice Beam on this, so I'm not quite ready to give it up. Unfortunately, I have Sand, but... Good, 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 good. Now I go back to Suicune, which is riskless, because even if he stays in, then, you know, BFD. But I get in on the Jirachi, and I get my Sleep Talk, and he doesn't really have a good switch in. He has to stall it with Torment Tran, which isn't good. So yeah, thank God this fun team worked out. Uh, one positive for today. Let's move on to Gen 5 and get me a pick-me-up with Specs Rain, which has been a while since I've used that. So, uh, hopefully I can just end today without losing too much of my sanity. So, nothing doing here. Gen 3 has been horribly, horribly mangled. We'll have to climb back up. I started making a rain team, but, you know, not yet. So, here we face a Tyranitar, and, or a Skarmory, and I hope I just fire blast it into Oblivion. But, it's going to be a Spidef Skarm, and it's going to live and get the spike. But the damage will be crucial. So, well, that was a stupid turn. I de okay, I'm not Lum, I'm Black Glasses on this team. So he avoids the damage entirely, and fine, I'll just go to, I'll go to Cloister and set up on this. And I'll limit him to one layer. I really wish I could fit Zapdos on this kind of team. Probably over Mence. Good god, that is max speed jolly. So he's not taking this, wait, what? That did nothing. Well, well, now I'm going to get my spikes up as he switches out, and Skarm took a bunch of damage for very little. He's almost definitely got a clay doll, but I'm not going to give him the wish to Skarmory for free. I'm going to threaten him with Fire Blast. Actually, I'm going to pursue... Why? Why? You die to that! You're faster than Cloyster! You have no spit F whatsoever! Was that really worth it for the Toxic? I mean, the spike I'd understand, but the toxic? Well, right, he's Wish Protect Blissey, that explains a lot. And he's using this as his counter. And he's letting it take a ton of damage. Just HP fire, so who knows what's going on here. At least Mix Mens is threatening, I guess. 
He's gonna go to the scar, alright. God, I hope he stays in. That would just make my day. And now I'm gonna try and take him out because, God, that does nothing. Because of, um. Because I would like that for Celebi, so. I'm just gonna try and mash that Skarm down. He's just gonna protect. Fine, that's easier for Celebi later. Hopefully, anyway, so. Yeah, in today's episode of Why Did This Happen on Ladder. I mean, it's mostly my fault for letting it happen, but still. And I'm... <sighs> Brick break there was nice, but now I'm going to go for the, the crit kill. I'm in the position where I can get it if I take it, so... And now I'm going to stay in again because I can still do it. He's still at very contentious health. Who knows what his set is. Alright, I'll take it. And now hopefully Celebi will go bonkers. In a spectacular comeback. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta play straight ahead and, um... Hmm. I'll just take it out. No sense dicking around. Uh, here I'll just try to get the spin off. That would go a long way. Yep, nice and faster, so... If he's got Gengar, he's got Gengar, but I'll at least kill it with Tar after. So, that works. Yeah, good god, I forgot how flawed this team was. Let's see, uh... Oh god, Salamence. Well, I'm slower, so... Or, I'm faster, so he's almost definitely physical. So I'm going to Psychic, just because I don't want it to just... Oh, I'm faster, okay. Or, uh, he's mixed. Well, I w wanted to Psychic on a potential DD, so I could... Oh god, I... Alright. Don't be Pursuit. Just be a standard DD set. And from there, I could do some fun Giga Drain stuff. So, Hydro... Bringing down the Suicune. I'll have to... Actually, I'm going to sack the Tar because it is useless and Celebi is a threat. Not quite fast enough to leave a mark. Giga Drain. Well, I'd have to beat the Suicune one-on-one -on -one or the Mixments will just clear me out. Nice. I think I'm going to call mine. Yeah, I have to call mine. Yes! Perfect. And now I can beat what I assume is a special tar. And Celebi hopefully just orchestrated a really good comeback. Come on, Celebi. Yeah, no way this is killing. It's Rock Slide. Even better. Thank God, no. None of that. So. God, that was a dumb game. Mainly because this team is so flawed, but. Whew, well, that felt good to get something despite the frustrations. So, uh, we'll just keep going. Gen 5, anything doing? If not, then I'll just move on to 4 or 3 or whatever is doing. I think I'm like hanging out below 1400 at this point in advance, which ain't fun. Yeesh, yeah. Oh wow, I was way below, so now I'm at 1394. Yikes. So, nothing doing. I'll just keep trying to do here. Volpix03. Good player. Uh, and he knows who I am. So I'm going to try and get up rocks with Skarm because I may as well, before I start PP wasting 
with the amazing bold Suicune. So Machamp Lee generally doesn't come with Magazone, so that's a comforting thought. It's just going to be uh, Rocks Heatran, or oh, he's going to go right to that. Okay, well I'm going to go to my Scarf Tyranitar, and I'm going to mess his day up. I'm just going to crunch hard because he doesn't know. He, well, it's, it'd be dumb to risk it for nothing. And even if he go, switches out, then I still have my rocks, and I can still play around this later. Hey, that's nice. Alright, go Suicune. Nice move. Definitely nice move, but I'm going to call mine on his Rapid Spin, and he's not going to like where that takes him after. Definitely a possibility of a Breloom here, but he doesn't know what kind of Suicune I am yet. Could be offensive, and switching Breloom into offensive Suicune is death. Speaking of death... Crocoon uh, against Blissey. Now that is dangerous. That, that's like pretty much the best thing you can see, so... There's going to be a balancing. There's definitely going to be a Jirachi here. I'm going to just keep resting on S-Tosses. Uh, actually, I'd... Kind of like to surf... Yeah, because uh, if he stays in, then I weaken Blissey, and I make him want to soft-boiled, and if he goes to Machamp, I just smack it. So, either way, I'm fine. So, I think Surf is definitely the move. Yep, so, that works. And Dragonite comes in, that's definitely going to be a banded Dragonite. That's fine, because I am in no rush to sweep. Nice move there. Oh, his last is a Metagross, I believe. Good team. I'm familiar with it. It's a mixed god, I think? But I'd prefer to confirm. Yeah. Because uh, it's worth getting rocks. So, uh, Crocoon is still the way to go. Oh, it's a Scarf Metagross. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yep. Alright. Uh, I don't want to risk... I'm just going to go Suicune because the Draco Meteor isn't that big. I can heal on Blissey pretty nicely. And now he could Draco, he could Earthquake. I'm going to go back to Skarm. See what I can get out of him. Uh, he also might go to Starmie just to... Actually, I should probably Sleep Talk, see what I can do. Because it doesn't take any damage at all and I can Surf him down. And that would be helpful. That's really nice. So what I'm going to do here is go to my Scarf Tar as he root Ori Dracos, and it dies. Damn it, but I'm going to pursue him with Dugtrio. So that sucks, but the wind path moves forward as planned. And uh, I can trap his Magnezone with my... Or his... Well, that's funny. How often do you see Dugtrio pursuit uh, that? Let's see. I don't really have a good switch, so I'm just going to let this thing go as I get punched in the face. And I'm going to Thunderbolts. And, God, this Magnezone is slow as hell. I hope he doesn't stay in. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to not risk it. Well, no, it's still risky, but I'm going to... Um... Hmm... Yeah, that makes my plan against his Scarf Gross worse. Let's see, he's... Yeah, he's just gonna stay in an attack and... Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'll just go with the T-Bolt. If he switches out, it's fine. If he stays in, I have to just hope he's slower. Which, bulky, um... Bulky Machamp is slower, for sure. It's just the Sash variance. But on a bulkier team like this, Lum has a lot of mid-game value. So you don't necessarily have to sack your CB Knight to sleep against Breloom. And in general, it's just useful for keeping up momentum against shit like Roserade. So. I think he's calcing T-Bolt to see. I mean, um, yeah, I would also even expect Custap, possibly. 
Oof, I should probably not put so... I should probably not have this much bulk on Magnus. Oh, it's kind of superfluous. And I also have not played this superbly. I... Hmm. Yeah, played kind of like... Kind of rushed. Kind of not so great in some parts. So... Uh, that's something to take away for next time. But at least we're seeing that Crocoon is incredible. He made a great move by not outraging immediately with CB Knight, and I arguably should have stayed in to take it and catch a double switch because Suicune can... Yeah, fuck me. Fuck me. God damn it. Yep, and I'm toast because he's going to Custap here. No, he's gonna... Yeah, I have no ch... Oh, he ice punches. Okay. Please just whirlwind out to the... Alright. I mean, it's... Bright side, I can trick Blissey and Healing Wish Suicune or something. I don't know, yeah. The combo of Denite and Metagross should be enough for me. I'm just going to spam Thunderbolt, hope I bring him... Oh. Yep, not enough. Fuck me. God damn it. Well, uh, I'm just making myself miserable here. But I'll keep going because that is what I do. Man, nothing really takes the fun out of Pokemon like playing it too much. Well, that's a big drop. Did I lose in GSC too? I don't even remember. Um. Yeah. Well, I played this like a colossal fucking idiot. So it's time to get a couple and wrap it up for today soon. And I won that one. I'll go with the triple electrics here. Nothing doing, I'll look for... No, I definitely don't feel like playing more RBY. This is like the toxic Typhlosion guy or something. So I'll just go to Zapdos safely here. Also, Scout's Thunder Punch or something. Alright. Yep, cool. It never ends, does it? And why wouldn't he just stay in and do that? Can I get something else, please? See, I really don't know if he knows what he's doing or not. Okay, he's got a Drill Peg Zapdos to boot. Yeah, this is just wonderful. Alright, go Zapdos, Thunderwave him, make something happen. Brightside, Drumzard looks good. Or okay, at least. I'm not gonna enjoy this. Because... I don't have a good matchup against the Azelf lead, so I'm just gonna have to... DD on it. And then E speed twice. Because he won't get rocks if he just. Uh, nope, he gets me. He gets me real good. And E speed doesn't do a KO, so it is fucked either way. Oh, he's actually rapid spin? Who the f. Good lord, this. Yeah. And I get lucky. Won't matter though, because Kirim forces me in. Or forces me out. I'll just sack uh, Magnazone to it. And I'll get up my own rocks as hopefully he switches to Lando. That would make a lot of sense for him to do. Nice. Now I don't know what set he is, but I can SD and for something, no matter what. Uh. 
and I don't actually have earthquakes, so it's not even a prediction for me to go for Dragon Claw there. As I do a nice chunk, and he has got two steals, so. The Calc HP Ice. Gar Chomp. Choice Scarf. Yeah, I'm dying, so I'm going to cure him. He hidden powers. I will take out one of the steals. Did I have free shock on this? No, I don't. Okay. So. Men's cleaning just got a little easier, I hope. Thank God he's not scarf zone. Why don't... I don't... Well, scarf Mens really likes that. Even if he agilities and I lose, which is very possible here. Matter of fact, I think that's what happens. God damn it. Yeah, I have to like double, I have to live with Latios after rocks, which is not a favorable prospect. I'm going to switch to Garchomp on Mash here to rough skin him twice. Oh wow, I just die. Oh, he's Life Orb, thank god. Alright, I think Scarf Mens is going to win. Alright. So, Scarf Mence, kill. Oh god, if he's Jolly Scarf Haxorus, I'm quitting. But that would be immeasurably dumb, so he's not going to be. It's obviously a choice band set. I'm just getting paranoid. Extremely paranoid. And now Snorlax looks good here. So, look at Mence go. Usually lose to this guy, so that's nice. Alright, Golem, I think he just thinks I can't hurt him, so... Oh, he's Curse. Wonderful. I'm gonna go to Zard on Earthquake. And Earthquake him down, and then hopefully he'll be in range for... This is gonna sound dumb, but I wonder if... Fire Blast does more to Golem at plus one than Earthquake does, because Earthquake's going to do Pittance. Actually, wait, he's not even Explosion. I should be fine. Fire Blast actually does do more. That's hilarious. Snorlax. Curse Lax. Actually, I'll go to Steelix first. If he's a... Actually, I'm going to lose to the Umbreon, so that's wonderful. <laughs> I have to get a lot of curses before it comes in, and probably going to lose this one in general, so. Oh, this team's not done. And... Fine, I'll just explode on the Typhlosion. Hopefully he doesn't go to Umbreon, because I don't have rest. Otherwise, I'd be fine. Alright, he's gonna just give me the curses I need, I hope, to kill Umbreon. Umbreon, how many do I need for Body Slam to... Well, I can't get too low. Body Slam to 2 a KO, I need plus 3. And versus Zapdos, I need plus five, I think, which is six six or so not six 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 nine nine nine. So I'm just gonna go for max because I need to do as much as I can. And versus Umbreon, buy the book. All right, I'll just uh, no, I want to stay healthy, so I'm gonna EQ him down now and just go for it.
Fingers crossed. I mean, Thunder will too a KO me, I'm pretty sure, from here, so. So, yeah, Skarmory is going to do Skarm things. Oh, nice. Still not decided, but helps. I don't take damage there, so I'll just cross my fingers. So I got the look I needed to win that one, thank god. Whirlwind, he does have zone, he has D-Knight, I'm just gonna... He has Fire Punch, CB D-Knight, with Magna Zone. He's not doing things by the book. And I'm gonna pursue him, so that stupid D-Knight doesn't threaten my thing later. Suicune. So, see what else we can do. Get the triple electric going. That's nice. Gert. Alright, I'm going to Ice Beam because I don't like Breloom coming in for free and it hits Zapdos who decides to stay in. Uh, I'll just go to this. And yeah, because if he agilities, I get to roost up. And if he switches out to zone... Actually, no, I'm going to Whirlwind because it covers... Alright, he's Agility, Thunder Punch, Life Orb, he just does not give a shit about his um, zone because he's using all the synergy with it anyway. And I'm going to Ice Beam, Protect, Hidden Power, now I'm going to Pursue him as he switches out. So the damage on Swampert will be nice for Metagross later. Honestly, that wasn't really the most optimal move. I should have just gone to Skarm on the Lax or the... Well, I was thinking Metagross, but... Pursuing Swampert is just a good feeling, so... Uh, anyway... Vagilagross... Versus Suicune... Life Orb Thunder Punch is doing... After Sand and Stealth Rock... Alright, but what if it's Adamant? 25.1% chance, so I'm just gonna... Go for a Scarf Latias cleanup. I'm just gonna Surf, hope I live too. If he has Magnazone, Magneton here, then I definitely die, which sucks, but what the hell. I'll take the layer. And, man, that was a silly turn. I might have lived, but now I'm just going to take out his Magneton with mine, just because I want to... Oh, he's not even HP Fire. I just wanted to bring it down so my Jolteon... Hey, it was lefties too, so I would have lived with Skarm. That's lame. But, what the hell, we'll persevere. So he's HP Grass, given that it's an offensive team, so that's cool. So, surfing him down. And... So he's... That's Max Adamant. So it's a roll, I'm gonna go to Magnazone, just to... Procure extra damage from him, extra life orb damage, get him to Earthquake here. Oh, he dies to sand. Okay. Well, Scarf Latias kills him anyway, so what the hell. Celebi, an annoying Pokemon. Okay, well, at least Metagross doesn't have to fear HP fighting. So, hopefully he just goes to zone here and gets easily dugged. So now I'm going to mash... Because if Zapdos comes in, I'll just... Because his last is very obviously Metagross. Clefable, what is going on in this battle? Battle. Oh, he's that? Alright, well, I'll just fire off a superpower, see what happens. Very unorthodox team. Definitely not by the book. Alright, now I'm going to Dugtrio on the Protect. And I'm going to Trap it. Cool. As his last is going to be S Toss. Oh, his last is Mence. Well, the good thing is that he cannot boost safely, so I'm going to. No, 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 no. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to explode. I'm not going to risk a miss on a DD, and then I'm going to revenge it with Jolteon. If he killed me, but he doesn't because max defense Metagross is amazing. 
So I'm going to go to Tar. God, Selby is annoying, though, is the problem. So I'm going to crunch him real hard and then try to win with the Electrics, which is tough because Snorlax is at full health. But I'll have to make do somehow. Well, I get a nice crit there, but I was going to sack Magneton and then finish with Jolteon, so... At least there's that. And since he's not a Metagross last, this Swampert has to be defensive, so definitely slower and definitely dying. Cool. So U-turn, go to zone, my bulk might help me here. Live a hit, just for... Oh, he just called me a son of a bitch in German. What a pleasant fellow. Ladder, am I right? So, we're get engaging in zone wars now, and I'm gonna live his, because my Magnazone's more awesome, and his Magnazone is less bulk, but it still manages to live somehow, which is nonsense. And I have no idea what his last is, except that I really hope that it loses to Scarf Latias, but I can't imagine it won't. It's going to be something offensive, and he's already got two steals. And if it's uh, Tyranitar last, he has to reveal it here, because I'm going to Tar, and the only way he damages Tar is with U-Turn. So I should, in theory, be okay. It's a Suicune! I don't care for that, I'm going to hope it's offensive, and then I'm going to... So if he attacks, he's not boosted, so that's really nice. And I'll just get damage. That is bold as hell. Oh, come on. Alright, he's going to be that guy. Alright, now Latios, and now Trick. Because that is a zero, or a max bulk Suicune. So now I Trick, hopefully he sleep talks. I mean, just spamming um, Surf at this point will probably be enough to do me in, but... No, he sleep uh, decides to lock into sleep talks, so hopefully he goes for it again. And I trap him, locked into Sleep Talk, with... Oh, actually it fails, because if you uh, lock into it with a choice item, then... If you use Sleep Talk with a choice item, then you die. Or you don't die, you, um... So he doesn't want to get pursued for more damage. So my move here is Dugtrio. Because... Yeah, I just want da this damage on the Uxi so I can clean up with... Maybe that wasn't the move. So I, cu I could have damaged the Suicune more, but I still think I'm okay? Not sure. Well, I managed to do that, and I killed the thing. Yeah, I'm going to sack Tar here, and I win the game. So that's nice. What a hell of a game. Two Crocoons. You don't see that much these days. Why am I modest? Oh, I think I forgot to put a nature on my Latias. That's funny. Huh. That could have been costly. Thankfully, it wasn't. So, yeah, I forgot to do that. That's not good. But, crisis averted. Uh... What the hell, let's get some Swallow action in there. If I can get a black and white game, that would be nice to... Just spam some strong attacks. Lift me out of this rut. Oh, god, this guy really likes using weird stuff on the black and white ladder, doesn't he? Alright, well, let's check the ranks. Yeah, pretty miserable, all things considered, but what can you do? So I'll just get up hazards and do something, I don't know. I can live even an expert belt HP fire, so I'm not worried about that, or a Focus Blast, for that matter. 
And I'm just gonna go to Politoed. I know he's probably not gonna fear Gyro Ball because who runs that? Because it's dumb. And now I'm gonna go to Latios on a grass move or to and to threaten the entire team. Energy Ball. All right, Draco Meteor. He is Sash, but Blizzard doesn't uh, hit that much in rain. But what the hell? Uh, so now I'll just go to Cloyster and or to Keldeo and surf everything. A lot easier than the Sun team because this team actually has decent matchups sometimes against the greater metagame. I mean. So Dusclops is probably going to take two of these surfs because Violite makes it insanely bulky, but it's not. It's only a Scarf Keldeo, so I guess it goes to show that Keldeo is dumb as hell. So, yes. And I think this just stays in and KOs everything, so that's fun. Yeah, this definitely does not live. Thank God. This was the anti-cloister I needed for this ladder. Gen 3? Oh, I think he quit. Uh, yeah. Back to the triple electric. Cool. Points there. Great remix, but this is really nice. Uh... Get in the game. Can search. Alright, Gen 2. Anything doing? I'll look for Porygon 2, because it's probably a lot more liable to run Rest Lax just until you get up there on the GSC ladder. So. Yeah, black and white not looking so fun. But it's actually the highest of all of my ranks right now. So. I mean, I'm not doing bad in the grand scheme of things. I just needed a day or two, or maybe more, to just gather my head so I'm not bashing my head against the wall every time. Let's see if I can get RBY with the Lapras team, because that was fun. And, God, I'm really mad I ruined my rating in that Dragonite game. Dying of Corona, huh? Join the club. So, while we do this, we'll look for more Gen 4. And get back up there. This is interesting. I'm a fan of Colrus. Colrus is a very cool character, so. Nothing doing. Oh, Bug Trainer Barney once again. Latias lead. This is almost surely a team I have used. Nope, it's a, zo it's a zone. That's not fun. Oh, I live. Awesome. And now I'm going to dug him after. So that's really cool. I mean, Custap, whatever, I'll just go to my tar after. But this is a great start. Latias. Right to tar. What the hell? Can't be uh, too afraid to do that. So I'm going to just crunch. Great start. Fantastic. Tar again? I'm going to go to Suicune just so I don't lose to a DD set DDing twice, but fine. I'm going to call mine on this hapless... Oh, God, it's a some sort of scarf set. I'm going to go to Tar to absorb a trick. And I managed to get myself a banded Tar that's going to pursue that Togekiss. Scarf Kiss is really cool. I can get behind that. So back to Suicune again because it's really free. I'm going to call mine again because, again, really free. Defense drop makes this not so fun, but surf makes it fun. Double defense drop, that's really not fun. So, going to avoid that. Sacking tar. And, oh shit, I just made a mistake. I shouldn't have... Uh, damn it. Well, fingers crossed. Oh, Kevin, you fucking idiot. You goddamn idiot. Well, I can live a superpower, and I'm faster for that matter. Alright, I'm facing another good RBY player, and I managed to get the advantage in, as we both go for the same strategy. So, nice. 
At least I'm going to dug this thing back and then hopefully hopefully I don't give set up to something bad. Alright, Latias wins despite my immense stupidity. Props on Scarf Kiss. Props on Togekiss. I love Togekiss. Great Pokemon. Wish I could fit it on teams. So that worked out. So now I don't have a Sleep Absorber, so I'm just going to default to Starmie. But Chansey being asleep is really nice for Lapras, so I'm going to go to Lapras now. Threaten this out with a big Blizzard that he doesn't want to take. Starmie, unfortunately, is going to beat it early on, but I'm going to Ice Beam spam, look for a Freeze, and I'm going to counter the Snorlax. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. That's amazing. That's truly amazing. And I can go to Lax and counter his Tauros after. Oh, right on. Okay. Well, I've got my own Eggy. And I've got a Mega Drain for Starmie. Just to keep healthy so he can't just chip me down over and over again with Ride on. So that's really nice. So this, is, this matchup is looking really nice for me. And that's a good feeling. I'm going to be just staying out of psychic nonsense range and looking to score another KO. This is what's referred to as triple KO Chansey because Sing is a KO, Ice Counter often gets a KO, and Ice Beam is often a KO. So I'm just going to switch out, not risk anything, burn a psychic PP. Don't care if he switches a Rhydon or Tauros on it, and I'm just wasting those Psychics. And uh, hopefully getting the Freeze. There we go. As now, this comes in for free, but I still think I'm fine. Rhydon comes in, and now I go back to Exeggutor, and I'm fine. I mean, Body Slam Pair can make things hectic. I, I do want to be careful of Tauros, because you always have to be careful of Tauros, but now... Even Lapras is looking really nice, so I'm just going to Psychic just to do more damage to the Exeggutor. And I'm probably going to end up trading... We're probably going to end up trading Eggies. Well, I'm going to see if I can double Ed... Or, or heal up Chansey if I can help it, but I can't. So that becomes a sack, and he... I mean, I can't really complain. But I am going to throw out the Blizzard... And everything is threatening, pretty much, so. Yeah, even minus one Blizzard is going to do a ton to Egg and bring it into Tauros range, which is the big one, so. I mean, he could also go to Chansey and... As I go back to Lax, try and take advantage of it with Eggy again, but... Uh, we'll look for some more. The Thorn, I haven't seen that name in a while. 1575. That's not bad, all things considered. See if I can get the black and white. Big blizzard, big hit, oh. And I do not die, that is nice. So, Chansey, fine. I will go to Toro so he can't take advantage of it with a double switch to Eggy. Perfect, that is really perfect. Oh, it's Penguin X, oh boy. Alright, now we are in for a big slugfest, and I'm going to play it the dumb way by leading off with my Specs Toad and attacking everything. And I'm going to Scald because death, and I want to burn Ferrothorn or Tanacruel or Politoed. And I don't think he's going to risk this, so... Right in here, I think he was going to go to Rhydon maybe, to, you know, absorb Slam and live Blizzard or something, but... 
That's fine. I'm going to Earthquake just to keep him honest. Should have done that to begin with, but whatever. So, Tauros War and then Snorlax after. I'll sack something. No crit, so fine. And I'm going to sack my low health Chansey. And Eggy is still a massive threat. So, now I go here. Now I counter the Rhydon. Which he, I think he is pretty much obliged to go for. It's that or like a Blizzard Freeze. But I would probably prefer to do this. Which didn't do that much because Chansey was at 13%. But it's more than I'm going to do otherwise. So, that maybe wasn't necessary. but And I get a lucky drop or miss there. So, here the sack is going to be... Well, I don't necessarily need to sa No, I, I do. I need to... Go to... Hmm. I might just have to go for a tie. Well, no, I'm going to sack the... The Lapras. Here. Anyway, uh, here I'm just going to spam Scald because it's a good move. And Weakening Tentacruel is nice for my Keldeo in the face of Toxic Spikes. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to try and bait the explosion. Nice move there. And now I feel like he's going to go back to Tauros. So I'm going to go to Snorlax. But he's not waking up. And now... Rhydon's coming in, so I'm going to go back to Eggy. No, he's just going to stay in, but that's fine, because even if he wakes up on me, then I can put it back to sleep. So, definitely advantageous. Perfect, without bad luck, of course. So, Scalds, nothing doing yet. And I get percent back uh, let me calc Eggy versus Tauros psychic not KOing so I'm gonna explode blizzard won't crit uh, won't kill me with a crit probably so I'm just gonna here I'm just gonna keep spamming it because why the hell wouldn't I could have taken advantage of that with a switch to Ferrothorn, but yeah, so that was a good game. Fun. I might even save that because I want to show it to my RBY trainer later. So look at Politoed being a good, good little frog and just hopping along and doing his scaldy things. Would have preferred it on Tentacruel, but. Um, hey, I'll take this. And I'm going to save this for a sack rather than potentially losing it because I want to knock the Ferrothorn. And I actually want to get a Brox as soon as possible. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get a Brox. I mean, Volcarona is definitely potentially a threat if he gets it in. He's like Pasho with... Hurricane for Tornadoes or something, but I don't think he's going to have the right combination of things. So yeah, I'm going to go right to Torn because probably Pasho, and if not, then I will obliterate it with that. So, oh god, confusion. Okay, well, I'm going to have to fight through that because the reward is a dead Pokemon or a very smacked Excadrill. No. Well, if he spins, I'm going to go to Ferrothorn and the very fourth spin, and now I'm going to go back to Tornadus as he goes to Volk. And if he goes to Tentacruel, then he either eats a big fat Specs Hurricane, or he uh, switches out and something else dies. So He might go to Excadrill again to absorb the Hurricane, to and then force me out and then double back into Volk. So that's something I gotta consider. And in fact, if he goes to Exca here, I might just uh, 
stay in. Yeah. Or I can play it safe. No confusion, huh? I can play it safe and go to Politoed. Which would not um, mind either. No, I'm going to Hurricane. Yep, there we go. That is a good feeling. So... Horn Wars, huh? Well, I do not want any part of these, so... Versus Apeshit, I'm just gonna get up the rocks. I have uh, Specs Hydro Pump that is analytic and is going to destroy Ferrothorn. And all in the name of Keldeo winning. Yup. So, back to Pharaoh. Play it safe. Oh good, a crit. Yeah, that. Well, he might... Well, I'll just uh, force him to reveal something. So, I don't know what kind of set he is. I have a feeling it's going to be... Well, nothing Dugtrio can safely switch into. So, I'll take that. And then I'll... Take this. And... What a combo these two make. Fucking Scald. Scald is just the worst thing ever. So I'm just gonna keep. Oh, why? Okay, well, that's fine. I just wanna really bring this down so I can win with Keldeo. So, fine, I'll take that. Bullet Punch? No, I really don't, but this team could stand to be better against Machamp. I'm gonna... Nice, nice. Alright, I'm gonna employ my spin block here. Uh, yeah, this is gonna overheat. Yeah, so I'm gonna just... Take that, I guess. I'm gonna just fire off a surf as he goes to this, and I'm facing my own team, but I should be okay, I think. Because he can't switch into Thunderbolt safely. So, that's not fun, but this is. Uh, I should calc spec Psyshock. Yeah, I'm going to win with Scarf Latias, so. Uh, star me. Choice spec. Psyshock versus Tornadus with rocks up. It usually kills, so I'm gonna go for it. And more importantly, it doesn't let Tentacruel come in on me after. I would much rather Ferrothorn or the other thing came in. So. He does not Hydro me, and I am going to just T Bolt away. Because Metagross won't beat me without some shocking luck. Alright, so I'm gonna... He's also Meteor Mash Bullet Punch Explosion, so not Mash Quake Explosion. So, this one is one. Thank goodness. Cool. So, Spec Psy Shock will do a lot, I assume. Wow. <laughs> That did, that's more than I bargained for. So, uh, Latios is also looking okay. Not great, but I want to keep this thing around. Alright, so now nothing is switching into Surf. And once he, if he has to sack to get Antenna Cruel, and then I can go to... Um, then I can... Uh, go to Latios safely. So, Antenna Cruel is not switching into Surf. 
as I crit him again. Whoops. <laughs> well, uh, now it's all about playing around the Tailwind, and thus I am going to go to Latios. Cool. And he's n he can't Tailwind and be Specs, so either Latios lives or, you know, um, yeah. Maybe I should have roosted just to play it safe. Uh, just to burn Tailwind turns, but I think I'm okay. So, Surf doesn't even... Uh, I don't think Earthquake even kills. But we'll see. So... Yeah. This is uh, 40 HP EV, so that helps. So... Yeah, cool, and uh, moving on. So, let's see. Two in a room. Oh, that's not a good lead. I don't like that at all. I'll just have to go to my Suicune on the Force Taunt and at least bring him down to the Sash, or very close to it, uh, with that. So, I will now just surf again. Just kiss. And I was afraid of Gyarados coming in for free, but I mean, that's hardly the worst thing in the world. So I'll go to Magnazone on a pivot, because not going to be as useful. He is a Life Orb, Starmie. That's just delightful. I'm going to go to Latias on Earth, and I'm going to go to Skarmory as he switches out. No, he stays in. He has no fear, because he thinks I'm Specs Latias. And uh, now I'm... Yeah, I should have gone right to Tar, but what the hell. So at least most of my stuff is still alive. So I'm not going to take any chances with, uh, you know, pursuing. So Infernape, I'm going to sack this. Hopefully he does something like U-turn. Nice, that's really good. I was just going to revenge with Doug. But that works nicely. And I'm just going to force him to use a move he doesn't like. He is Life Orb. So I'm going to go to this. And I'm going to make him take... If he's Yeah, Extreme Speed. That was the goal there. And now he dies. Hopefully I can get up rocks. Oh, he lets me... Cool, that's really cool. You don't expect zone with ape, but that's fine. That's great, even. I'm gonna whirlwind just in case of a sub. I'm gonna dug. And hopefully from here, then Scarf Latios and... Yeah, because he has to reveal something last that doesn't die to Doug, because otherwise Doug just sweeps. Okay, fine. How do I guarantee this win? I think it is by going to Suicune. Uh, yeah, it is. I'll just uh, rest in case he's Scarf Gengar. That is the smarter move, rather than getting swept by a very weak set, uh, Gengar set. And now, since it's, uh, what are we going to do against the banned Infernape? Um, I'm going to surf in case of Sleep Talk. In case he tricks, I don't want to be locked into Sleep Talk. Fine. Oh, I think he's actually Scarf. That's... Well, I don't have much choice now but to go for a sleep talk and hope it works out, I think. Um, minus one spadef is... Yeah, I can't switch out and then back in, so it might come down to a speed tie between them. And what's my bulk on Doug? 32 HP? Yeah, wow, I wish I had it. the thing, the sucker punch, but I don't. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely looks like a tie now. Doug from 88, well, I guess it's a pretty big roll, so from 88%, what's the... 50%, so he has a tw 
roughly a 25% chance to win. And hopefully I... Okay, there's one. Actually, I don't even know if this kills. No, I don't think it does. I messed up. Fuck, fuck, shit. No! God fucking damn it. Why didn't I fucking Draco? God damn it. God damn it. Alright, well, I thought today was going to end well, but I guess not because I decided to be a fucking idiot. I guess I made my odds worse against the Gengar, though, if I had to Draco. Oh, why do you have to get that spit F drop? That fucked everything. God damn it. Um... Yeah, I'll just keep going with black and white. See... See where I end up. That's not 1490. Update, please. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got a nice boost to RBY, at least. That's nice. Lapras team is quite fun. I like it. 1461. Well, that's not bad. It's just not as high as I should be. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. I'll use Mixed Knight because it's more fun and more sturdy. Nope. Nothing doing. Nothing doing in any of them? Come on. Alright. Yama, huh? That's an old lead I haven't seen in a while. So, I'm gonna get faked out. I'm gonna just get the rocks, because that's the priority. So it's gonna be a very offensive team. I might even just get both hazards and then kill him with uh, Doug Trio because he's going to drop his defenses twice in addition to poison, so. Cool. Doug killing Hariyama. Feel like it you... Excuse me. Feel like it's you, you. That crit, I'm willing to bet, did not matter. Gengar. Annoying little prick, but... Thank God he did not focus blast, and now I get another... God, the Doug tar combo is just so nice. Cornerstone of a lot of great defensive teams, so... Good start, Machamp. There he is. Well, I'm gonna sack this thing, because it's... Bad. Oh, God. Please be slow. Please be slow. Please be slow. Well, there's, there's no way he's a fast sub-champ. That... Well... He could, in theory, be a fast sub-champ, but it'd be... Probably wouldn't be that good, so... Doug's gonna finish him off. Because Doug is strong and Machamp is, is surprisingly frail. You wouldn't expect it, but he is. So, here's Latios to do exactly this. Jesus. Alright, well, I'm going to Draco because I want to hit more things hard than just this Gera. And that's fine. Maybe I should have gone to... I should have gone to Suicune. Because it's a banded, uh... Banded Gera, so it can't stop Suicune at all. So fine, I'm just going to call Mind up and make it harder for his last to defeat me. Probably like a Heatran or something. So... Alright, I'll take that. That's not doing anything. Gyarados is just going to get rested on. Tar goes down. And a uh, brave Pokemon trainer once said, Calm Mind Suicune has no weak. So, Lucario is not going to be able to take him out. And goes down himself. And then I will be able to defeat the Choice Band Gyarados. So at least got some back there. Oh, Joy 11. Please taunt me as I go to my Tyranitar. Good. I'll take that. I know it's... Oh, he's Sash. Old school. Colber is pretty much... The only sets that don't run Colber are those that can live Scarf Tar at high health. So, 
Skarm. I'll take a Fire Blast if it means rocks. I'll now go to Suicune. Suicune's sturdiness is just a thing of wonder. Milotic. Let's see. He's a fast Milotic. Let's see if he's got haze or not. HP Electric. That already lowers the odds of it because Milotic's non-surf and recover slots already compete for Ice Beam, uh, Haze, Hidden Power Electric, and Toxic. So, Offensive Milotic, which you're going to expect on a team like this, is also very good. So, if he's going to try to set up DD Tar, then that is not going to work out. And he's not DD, he's slower than a Zero Speed Suicune. He's a Spantar, that did a lot of damage. So, Crocoon is just the truth. I'm going to... Switch out here and then revenge him with Doug Trio. Get up spikes because why not? So that works out nicely. Rosary probably should have been the switch immediately, but eh. Grass not kills. That's bizarre. I'll go to Tar to surprise his Flygon because Scarf Ice Beam is amazing. And uh, it's great for Gliscor, great for Flygon. Yeah, so I'm going to avoid getting Suicune HP Electric on the switch, so I'm going to go to Magnazone, Thunderbolt, going to live a Hydro, because that does nothing. But he also lives, so it's probably like speedy with defense, which is also a good set, because Milotic doesn't really need the power. It's naturally pretty strong for a defensive poke. Alright, we'll see how far we can go, I guess. Couldn't search, you're already searching. Okay. Hydro Pump. Rank. 1478, is that after that one, or...? No, I think it should be a little higher. Well, alright, if that's not gonna be cooperating, then I'll just keep going. Oh, good, a Jellicent. 1478? Really? That little? No, 1489. Nice. Okay. Um. Alright, well, this is annoying because he's got the two steals. I'm going to lead off with Ferrothorn and see how far I get. And he's got Jellicent on Rain. How obnoxious. Only I did that, and that was like nine years ago. Legit. Alright, ZZ Alba. Oh, God. Do I risk going right to Doug? Uh, no, I don't. Because that would be insane. He is Earthquake. Alright, back to Skarm then. And then I'm gonna go to Doug. Oh, he's Cross Chop. Lovely. Well, I'm risking it. Thank God. Knock off. Good. Step one. Thank God he's not something dumb like Sash. Go this. And I'll just do as much damage to it as I can. Is this going to be mono electric or something? Hopefully he just stays in. I'll just go up the ladder with hazards. Lantern. This is going to be mono electric, so... That's really good for my Crocoon plan. I don't think I'm going to get a much better chance to get up hazards than here. So I, And I can't even get up hazards because I have to roost on Charge Beam and then Whirlwind. There's Hydro, not quite going to do it, so that's nice. I'll get up Rocks here. Because Latias can still take it. Help, Tar can still take it. Doesn't get the boost, so that's helpful. And I actually can't hurt him at all with Magnazone, but I think... He's going to go for the boost again, so I'm going to go to Tar. That was definitely the right move. And Max Layers, nice. Going to go for a knock in case he decides to switch to something, but no, I'm going to go for three layers. Nothing else switches in safely anyway. So 
Doug again. Rotom is actually insanely annoying. So I'm going to have to pull some shit on it. I'll actually keep my Magnazone. I will go to Skarmory and go back to Dugtrio to land a Toxic on it. Hopefully he's not Rest, but Rest would have a much worse shot at dealing with um, with the Suicune. So Toxic... Hopefully he misses. Yeah, and other electrics are probably still going to die regardless, so I'll just go to my zone. Hopefully face as Tornadus does amazing things. Oh, I should have uh, put on the autoplay. Oh, good, he's calm mind. Well, I'll scald. Luckily, Hydro Pump is still going to massacre him. And I'll finish up with Keldeo. Oh, he's overheat. Okay, definitely not rest then. But he is monoelectric, so I'm curious to see what kind of set this is. But I am going to sack Skarmory because it's going to be useless. Come on, come on. Fine, I'll trick it and then I'll roost. Well, that did nothing. Nice. I will protect for extra health. And before I HP... No, I'm just going to HP fire. Don't be an idiot. Alright. Now I have to roost all his thunders or something. No, I can go to Ferrothorn. God, I'm actually going to lose because he has a fucking mono-electric team. I have to set up Suicune and hope to god it works. Alright, I will take that because I'm going to Draco. I hope he's a choice Magnezone. In that case, that'd be okay. Okay, Shadow Ball. I gotta stay in and... Actually, that's not even going to be enough. He's going to... Because uh, he's going to die to that residual, so. Ugh, this is ugly. Yes! Fuck, no! No, did my own crit just fuck me? No, please tell me no. Oh my god, it just did. Please be specs. No, fuck! You've gotta be fucking kidding me. I just fucked myself into losing to Mono Electric because of my own stupid goddamn Draco crit. Fuck. And that's gonna be, like, curtains, especially because this fucking game is... Fuck that. Fuck that really hard. And I admit... You've gotta be joking. Well, and I've lost this because of a fucking course I did. 1489, Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm calling it soon. If ever. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Hopefully he's a slow toad, nicer sweeping with Specs Hurricane. I'm not going to get Gyro Ball, I'm just going to pray. Fourteen. So I guess that's not so bad, but I just... Oh, no. Alright, Hurricane and Pray. Nope. Nothing fucking doing. Well, why am I clicking rank over and over again? This is fucking stupid. Uh, 
Uh, well, price we pay, or something. So, now down to, not 1480, it was close to 1502. Three layers, awesome. And sleep, awesome. Now I go to Swampert, and now I'm gonna have to deal with this. Cool. So, that... Fory, huh? That's a throwback. Alright, please just fire punch me. Don't dick around. Nice. And no burn, of course. Fory, Fory has a pretty great shot in advance to just die to Magneton HP fire, so hopefully this will do the trick. Alright, that's nice. Two steel types down, that's nice for arrow. And yeah. Full spikes, free tar, focus punch, so no sir, but I am gonna leave him with a big mystic water torrent pump. And this is gonna trash the mens. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna sack the. Sleep is nice. Alright, I'm gonna go to arrow. I'm gonna play it risky. Don't. Nice. Nice. That's really nice. I'm gonna just rock slide because. That kills. Good. Oh, come on. It's been a while since Magnazone versus HP Fire. Uh, Magnazone, HP Fire 4E, Calx, and DPP were in my head. I'm pretty sure there's a chance to live, but... Alright, here's the issue. The DD tar. So I'm gonna just rock slide it down. So... He can't DD multiple times. Because I wouldn't be able to kill him if he was getting health with uh, from Earthquake, so... Well, how's that for a pick-me-up? I'm gonna magnet rise just so I don't switch as I roar. Alright. Uh, just so I don't switch to Skarm as he roars. So, wrapping it up soon. Definitely after this one, I think. Well, I want the rocks really badly, and I don't really have a good switch into this. So I'm gonna have to do that, and then I'm gonna have to sack my Magnazone just so I can get a clear shot at it with Tyranitar, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do that. Well, 14-14, that's not a lot, but... Wow, two attacks, rest talk, Rotom. I haven't seen that. Maybe he's legitimately using KG stall. That would be something. Alright, well, if he's gonna use this double attack shit, then I'm just gonna go to T-Tar and pursue him for hella free. And then probably win with the Suicune. I mean, he might have, um... The rest talk, Gera, which is gonna phase me for a while, but a last Pokemon Suicune is just... No chance. Barring insane luck with Scarf Tar, so. Speaking of, I'm just gonna spam Crunch against the Spidef Hippo, because I kind of feel like it. So, he's definitely in danger, and bringing it down would be nice. Oh, that's really good. Well, I don't want to get trapped by this, so I'm gonna go to Doug here to trap a Tar. Or Bliss, but mostly Tar. Nice. That works out beautifully. 
So that is hella dead. And now he has no choice but to go to Gyarados, really, because Hippo would die. So that's cool. So I'll do one more. No? No, I'm going to call it there. So, under two hours today. So, not a perfect day, but it had its moments. So, not starting off too badly. Pretty sure n there was no progress in terms of Gen 3, but... Um, yeah. So, we'll just wait for the final ranking update to come in for Gen 4. As I spam rank over and over. On the, on the plus side, I like this team. This is a lot of fun, despite its flaws. Alright, come on. Well, that's not a lot, but... Oh, well. Alright, so next time. Thanks, guys.